So we had some problems with uh, the time running out, and actually you should thank, or this company should thank you, because I then went and actually purchased this software for $10 a year. And my screen is over there, so if I keep looking back over there, that's why. I also found that my voice is much, much lower in the recording than it is in real life. I don't know what that is. That's a glitch, but for $12, it's all right. So when we last left, we were looking at, um, okay, we were looking at, yeah, this one, where um, I had you be in presenter view. I can pause. Okay, All right, I got to figure it out now. We left this video at this point here, talking about uh, maybe using the past perfect uh, after dropping down slightly. Okay, and then you use the semicolon. As I said uh, in the first part, um, oops, come here, put it over here. You've, why? Why a semicolon? It doesn't make any sense. All it really does is take a sentence that is too long and make it even longer. Look, regarding philosophy, uh, 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 comma, which rose uh, uh, after dipping down, uh, uh, semicolon, the figure will jump, uh, uh, period. Okay, in contrast. But still, that's a really long sentence. Semicolons are very rare in English. They really are. And you don't get, I don't think you're getting any bonus points for uh, using it unless it's natural. And it's not natural. You could have just put a period there and it wouldn't have made any difference. Um, after dipping down slightly, I, I, I talked about this before. The figure will jump. You don't know that. By contrast, oh, no, no I, I mentioned this already. Their, enter, their usage goes up the same amount. I mean, it, it increases. Okay, so your paragraphs are very clear. Now, in this next paragraph, we're going to talk about this. And by looking at the graph, it is evident that non-fossil fuel remained the secondary source of power. Well, first of all, at this point, you should not be talking about the graph anymore. Now we're talking about the world. You know what I mean, the graph shows you something about reality. And now is the time to stop talking about the graph. Uh, it is evident that non-fossil fuel remained. Well, you didn't mention the, the secondary. It's, you're looking at numbers 4, 5, and 6 out of 6. Secondary? Starting from the, starting from the generation under 5, from the, uh, the uh, under 5, uh, nuclear power and solar energy. Note, Solar and wind. You're not reporting it correctly. Solar and wind energy continued to evolve slowly. Oh, did it now? It looks that way from here. But here's something that's... Uh, uh, here's a truth about graphs. And this is actually helpful in life, too. Because whenever you look at a graph, you want to look at the X and Y axes. I'm going to take the X and Y axes here and change them a little bit. And what do you got? Now, that's the same numbers, that's the same graph, but now we've taken the, we've shortened the x-axis and lengthened, heightened the y-axis. And it's the same numbers, but by, by the way you choose to display it, it looks very different. Would you say that is evolving slowly? No, it's steadily. You know, in practically, yeah, three to eight, and it more than doubles. That's not slowly. See, the scale changes and everything changes. It doubles. Solar and wind. And uh, now here when we get down to energy generated from water, that's not hydro, well, it sounds like you're talking about things beyond hydroelectric power, which we're not. And 
um, in the end, that will remain stabilized. No, that's not good. It will remain flat. Stabilized it just doesn't fit there in terms of um, the uh, overall, like how, how that's supposed to go. So, Shamila. Good job. It's almost, you know, it's practically the same as my uh, model essay here. Line graph, several types of fuels, amounts. Oh, oh, you can't see it. I'm still on full screen. Let's just like go away all entirely. Bye. Should be hiding. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, my overview. It can be seen the amount of fossil fuel grew over most categories, and this trend will continue with fossil fuels as the significantly dominant energy source. That's the end of the slideshow. And. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And you can ask me questions in the comments. And uh, visit and like IELTS Temple um, on Facebook. And click like and subscribe here. I, I never say that. And maybe that's why I'm not such a big YouTuber.